Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, for this particular um, DIY, I am going to take an old frame old frame got to clean the glass even that's how old don't know if I'm gonna leave it that color or not a stamp this one says deck the halls with boughs of holly hope your holidays are jolly I've had it forever piece of Trader Joe's grocery bag and some plaid material that I had left over for my Christmas DIYs and I'll show you what we're gonna do not sure well let's get this inked up the same first and I'm going to use the graphite black make sure you have enough on there because you don't want to go through all this and then not have enough ink or you're only getting half the word haven't we all gone through that one Good. Okay, put my lid back on here. And since my decor where I'm putting this is farmhouse. Okay, so let's see. Do I want the burlap? What I'm going to do is the burlap and then I'm just going to put a little bit of the plaid just as an accent. And you can embellish the uh, frame too if you want. Or you could go all the way around the uh, paper. But I think for mine, I am going to use the burlap in this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this, okay, to this backing. And I'm just going to hot glue it. And this, like I say, this was a frame that I got, oh, it, I probably paid a couple bucks. So it's no big deal to me. And this is very fast. If you had someone coming over and you haven't seen them and it's Christmas time, make a couple of these and you're good to go. Like I say, if you need a gift real quick. I'll keep some gift bags always at the ready and just <laughs> put it right in the gift bag. I like things that are fast, but that are cute and that someone would really like. Just hit that again real quick. Got to be careful with burlap because that glue seeps out and you can burn yourself. Okay. So now I'm just going to rip the paper. Because I want this more rustic. And I think I'll hit the 
sides of it with the ink. And again, you could use any color ink you want, depending on what kind of fabric or paper you were going to use. It's good enough. So hit that. Center it where you want. I just want some of this plaid because I am going to be decorating with this plaid in my family room. So I'm going to want some of this showing, obviously. Don't even have to glue that down if you don't want. And you would not have to use the glass if you didn't want that either, but I don't think I would want this all out. You know what I mean? Although if you wanted to make it now, okay, I just thought of this. If you wanted to make it more, um, 3D, for instance, like uh, if you wanted, okay, let me show you, and I may end up doing it as I, as I show you, I don't know, <laughs> oh, I always end up doing stuff like this, I always think of things as I'm showing you guys, but if you wanted to put something in there where you couldn't get the glass on, you could go ahead and put this inside, or if you wanted to go ahead and put the glass, you could embellish it on the outside. Now I have all intentions of embellishing this frame. I don't know yet if I'm going to paint it though. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to antique this. I think I'll do it now. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the material down that's where I want it okay I want to wrinkle this up a little bit make it look old okay Okay, now let's put this aside and take the frame. Go ahead. This is kind of a weird, it's not really wood, it's kind of like a plasticky. That antiquing this is going to help that cream uh, burlap to pop. I want to get in the inside as well. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep getting this to the tone I want it. And then I'll be back before I glue everything or put everything into this. And we'll embellish it together. Medium. And I antiqued it. What a difference in the frame. Oh. And I washed the glass. So what I'm going to do now is embellish the frame. And I got to see what I want to use for that. I think I'm going to use some of this. Not sure though. I have this. 
you know what, I'll be right back. How I want to embellish the frame. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit, and I showed you in my haul. I think I did. How I bought this um, swag because they didn't have any others out. So I'm just going to cut this in two. I was going to use this, but I want it a little bit more rustic, and these are more pearlized with glitter. So I think I'm going to glue this on with a bell and some of the pine cones. This would be a cute gift, especially if somebody really liked the farmhouse look for Christmas. trying to see how much uh, of this I want. And I think I want to use one of these, but this again is too white white. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to hit this with the antiquing as well. And I, I'm not, I don't want it all brown, you know what I'm saying? I still want the white showing through. This just kind of tones down the starkness of it. And that's all I'm looking for. Yep, that changes it completely. Okay, so... Now, I'm playing around with thinking if I should put this here along with that. I don't think so. It fights with what's up there. Okay. And I don't need this little round thing. I got these red berries too, which will look good with this because of the red. I really like these. So these have berries on both ends. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to tie this and use these separately. Those went flying. Twisted them together, hot glue them a little bit, hot glue them to this piece of uh, of the swag or the garland. I, I keep saying swag, garland.
And this is just a piece of uh, twine from uh, Walmart. They have the best deal, I think. You get the most out of, of it for the price. Yeah, I like that with this. Okay, so I'm going to glue that. Okay. I like to uh, layer. I think layering is pretty. I'm only going to take a couple of these pine cones. I like these little pine cones and I got these a long time ago and I have not seen them in a long time. Sometimes I get sick of thinking, you know what I mean? Second guessing, and I end up just saying, okay, this is where it's going, and that is where it's going to go. Okay. Okay, guys, that is what I'm going to do very fast didn't cost me hardly anything because I had so let's stand it up and there you go would be a really nice gift for someone for the holidays be a nice hostess gift if you're going to um, a party you could also do like this and then you could put a picture of someone right here whatever you want but I thought I would share with you another easy easy inexpensive thing to make either for your home or to give as a gift so until our next DIY remember the world's a better place because you're in it don't ever ever forget that talk to you soon guys bye